I wanted to hear about the failures more than the success stories because all success stories, people tell us what they see. You will never feel what they've been through if you've never been through it. Yeah. Success comes out of a lot of sweat. We're just saying sweet stories right now, but success never comes from sweet stories. It just comes yeah. from sweat, come from not sleep. It's just like, you have to be yeah. old. Fail, fail, fail. And then exactly. you figure out, I won't do that again next time. And then exactly. you do something else wrong, right? We talked about how this can benefit. Uh, what's the difference? Like, what's, what's, the, what's the benefit? What's the cons, uh, the pros and cons of doing Uber? What's the pros and cons of doing affiliate business? What's the pros and cons of having exactly. uh, your own client? And if you can jump. Yeah. So let's, let's agree that as an IO or as an independent operator, someone who just started to have his own car, there's no, nothing can compete with Uber Black. Yeah. For a small reason. You get your, your, your trip from SFO to SF. You drop off for $80. In the trip, you get another ring from Berk from SF to Berkeley for another $100. You get another ring after dropping off back to SFO. That's a, like a four, five hundred dollars in two, two hours, two hours and a half. Wow. That's not, that's not going to happen in, uh, in the limousine business. No. Because basically in lim, in limo, we have to prepare between each rates. You have to make sure that the car is clean. The car is washed, sanitized, just to make sure about all of your trip details. You receive a call from our dispatch an hour before you maybe receive a call from the other company dispatcher like an hour before. So you have to be prepared for yeah. that kind of stuff. You can't even just dropping a client in, at the airport and just go have another client within 10 minutes or 15 minutes. That does not yeah. work in yeah. the demo. You're just going to lose your business. So it so, sounds like Uber Black is like incredible then. I mean, you make a lot of money and like you, you get job after job, but... Of course. So that's how it what's works. The, that's, so what's that's the deal? Back day. That inconsistency. It's that's that's if it worked. That's if everyone oh, if you have I a just, lot of requests. If you're getting a lot of requests, yes, that's great. But if you're selling from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. for three, four days waiting for a ping and you don't get anything and you wasted your that that would happen like on consecutive days sometimes. That's happened to me many times when I started doing Uber, like back in 2013-14, staying at like we have in San Francisco the marine at the marine area. Uh, that's where the rich people lives. And uh, from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. to just have, usually we get like three, four airport rides. Some days you don't get any. And you just uh -huh. have to waste your day. You get you get tricked with the numbers that you're making every day. Yeah, you can see three, four, five hundred dollars a day. But some days you don't make anything. So yeah. the average, like one of the best advices that I can give to all of the, the, the starters, the people who started, don't make your calculations on the daily basis. Make it on an average basis. Our industry now, it's a, in each city, it's a seasonal industry. Yeah. Seasons are different from city to a city. But you need to know when is busy, when is uh, slow. Because your calculations has to be on all over the year. You can't just be happy because January we made a 20, uh, I made a $15,000, $17,000 as a driver. But February, March, April, May, I barely made seven thousand dollars. Wow, so that that big of a you know of a gap, huh? Yes, and and, and is and, it consistent year over year at least? Like you know, certain months are busier, or is even that unpredictable? Because at least if it was some somewhat predictable, like you know, certain months are going to be better than others, then maybe you could plan to like, or, or is that even kind of unpredictable? Let's agree that this comes with experience. Like my first uh, year, I was, my first year, I was hearing about the event from the guys that just tell, or maybe from the search price on Uber. I never knew about the event is going on. It's just like, oh, there's a search price 10x. And then you start, oh, there's something is going on. And then you learn. But now I have a calendar of what's going on in my city for the next year. I know what's yeah. going on. When is the busy? You know, but like in San Francisco, for example, it's the past two years. It's very challenging. January is always busy because of JP Morgan. I hope they keep it for the next year. Okay. JP Morgan, all of us, we made that like me personally and the and, and our company, January covered us until the past month. We start big. Wow. That month. big. Yes. Incredible. San Francisco is going San Francisco is very affected from what's going on right now because what the bubble what we're at right now is the tech bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. We're the first one. We're the tech hub. Yes. Whatever is happening here right now, the, the, the rest of the world will have, will, will feel it after. 
but yeah. this is where it's going to start. And we're the first guy, we're the first ones who's feeling it. Uh, it's inconsistent. There is business. I'm not saying there is not, but it's yeah. not consistent. Uh, number, you're barely making it, but it's not consistent. But yeah, but let's go back. Let's hop back to the. the uh, is the is that why? Uh, sorry to um, interject. Is that why you ended up saying, "Hey, I need to." Do something else because you mentioned you you had a family, right? You maybe kids and you need consistent income, right? Is yes. is that what made you decide to get into the limo industry? How'd you even find out about it? Was it a friend or did you just see these other drivers around? And you're like, wait, these aren't Uber drivers. Or I'm guessing you already knew about it, but how how'd you like get into it really? So yeah, my brother, my brother and his wife and their kids came from Egypt to have, to pursue an MBA in international business as well. And okay. myself, yeah, and myself, I had a baby at that time. It was like a one year old and I got, I was buried. So to, I got to a point of just like, I'm not going to keep looking for jobs. I just need a, a job. And since I got rejected everywhere, I decided to go all in, in the only thing that I know in the United States, other than my studies, which is the chauffeur industry. Sure. Uh, oh, so you got a job. I never got a job. Oh, I was trying to get a job, but I was rejected in all of them. All the big companies. Really? Silicon Valley they just weren't big. hiring. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm talking oh, about limo the... companies. I'm talking about oh. limo companies. Actually, in one of the limo, the kickstart was one of the big limo companies. I was uh, interviewed to be hired as a vice president of operation to the with a very great salary. And okay. I met with the owner and they, they, they told, told me like, you're going to be uh, a great asset to our company. But for some reason, they hired another person. And uh, and that's what I said. Like, I'm not going to put my destiny yeah. on someone's decision. So let me start what I know. I only know the chauffeur industry. Let me get the the one car. I created just a, a simple website. It's just maybe a, a landing page as a contact yeah, yeah. information. Perfect. And I did the business card that had the picture, the picture on uh, a picture on the business card. And I went to the LCT show in 2019, March, 2019. Now, was that your first kind of exposure to like working with other affiliates? Had you done any affiliate work before then? Um, do you remember? I, I took the decision of have of having everything all in, in the limo business, February, 2019. Oh, wow. So you remember like, and, yes. and that's right before the show, right? Because they yes. were usually in like March, right? Yes. Yes. And I went to the show and I was impressed with the amount of knowledge that I gained because here's the, all my information about transportation industry. I used to wait at the cell phone block, go pick up a client, drop him at the city, just like having an app, writing a company name out there. I don't know what's going on. It's just like all of my information. Just like I see a lot, a bunch of people, a bunch of black cars wearing the suits. We're running around. We're cleaning the cars. That's what I know about yeah. transportation. When I went there, I start to see like, oh, that's where the business is coming from. That's where the, oh, uh -huh. I start seeing the companies that I used to see their names on the app. Ah, like the big, the big limo. affiliates, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. When I used to be a limo driver, oh, this is the company that I drove their clients before. This is this, this is that. And, um, Attending the sessions helped me so much to understand what kind of industry I'm in, what challenges and what uh, failure stories. Like most, I wanted to hear about the failures more than the success stories because yeah, all success stories people tell us what they what, what they see. You never you, you never you, didn't, you will never feel what they've been through if you do not, if you never been through it. It's just yeah. success comes out of a lot of sweat. We're just saying sweet stories right now. But success never comes from sweet stories. It just comes from yeah. sweat, come from not sleep. It's just like you you have to be yeah. old. Fail, fail, fail. And then exactly. you figure out, I won't do that again next time. I, and then exactly. you do something else wrong, right? And exactly. then you won't do that exactly. next time. Yeah, yeah. So meeting, meeting a lot of people out there and talking about their experiences, how they do business, where they get their business from, uh, what's the challenges, how did they start? Uh, when I told them my story, everybody told me like, oh, we started like you 10 years ago. And that's where I feel like, okay, I'm on the right direction. It's just like my decisions. There's other people took the same decisions one day and they're, they made it. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's when you get the, the signs that you, you're going on the right direction or no. Um, uh, I came back from that show with almost like 123 business cards. Whoa. I talked to every, every single person. In person, I wasn't that just interfering people. I wasn't rude. Just like no, but it's just 
you're smart to people and just go and talk and introduce yourself. Two, three minutes is more than enough just to b- say hi and bye. This is yeah. me. This is you. This is what I do. This is what you do. If there is a catch, if there's like the, the connect happened, you're not going to feel the conversation. It's just going to take itself. You're yeah, just yeah, gonna yeah. Keep going and go. Totally. If nothing, you just give the great smile, have the business card, go back, follow up emails, blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's it. 